Well, family members of the young man whose mind-boggling disappearance stretches into yet another day, upping the stakes in hopes of his safe return. Desmond Saunders explains in this next story. Uh, it's been rough, man. Not, not uh, much sleep uh, during the night time. You know, the only thing I have to hold on now is uh, prayers right now, you know. Strong faith and a glimmer of hope is what's guiding Keith Carey as the search continues for his 20-year-old son who's been missing for more than a week. Carl don't really sleep out. Uh, last, he was last seen on Thursday night when he came home. Uh, Friday, I didn't see Carl at all on Friday. He didn't sleep home on Friday, on Friday night, so I knew something was wrong. An all-points bulletin mounted by police over the weekend. Atlanta staff, family, friends, and the Coral Harbor community conducting a search. More questions and answers, and now his family hopes his nightmare could soon come to an end. Somewhere around the pandemic, his personality changed a little bit, his behavior changed a little bit, and he was a little unstable as far as that. I know a lot of people ask me about his mental state, you know. Uh, he was unstable, but not to the point where I would say, well, he has a mental issue. Kerry hopes to be reunited with his son soon. You know, he is very approachable. Um, never bother no one. Uh, he's kind of an introvert. You know, he don't like to be around the crowds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, he have his little routine that he takes on a daily basis, walking out to the Coral Harbor community park. He, he had a little gig out to the convenience store. The stockman used to stock uh, stuff on uh, the shelves and stuff like that. So he used to go there on a daily basis. That was his daily routine. And when they realized that, you know, the gentleman out there said he didn't see him for two days. Now, family and police continuing their search for young Carl. He is of brown complexion, six feet, six inches tall, slim build, and he was last seen May 12, 2023, in the neighborhood convenience store here in the Call Harbor community. The family offering a $5,000 reward for his capture. And if you have any information that can assist the family, you are invited to call Crime Stoppers at 328 TIPS 328. 8477. Here in the Call Vister, Call Harbor community, Desmond Saunders, The Bahamas Tonight.